Uh, good afternoon and thank you for this conference. Um, this time I want to explain about how to enhance the hype effect, uh, especially focus on uterine disease. And first I want to talk about sonazoid. Uh, sonazoid is a contrast enhancing ultrasound agent and this is basically air bubble. When this air bubble is exposure to a high pill, uh, it suddenly blow out and this make uh, cell membrane damage. Uh, think about the high effect. Uh, high effect is uh, main effect is coagulation that causes by high temperature, and the other effect is uh, cavitation. This cavitation make cell membrane damage. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, if we use a uh, CUS agent like sonazoid, uh, this micro bubble can make more cavitation. So if we use CUS uh, and this make more cavitation effect. So uh, this make more high effect. Uh, but why sonazoid? We are familiar with Sonovia. Sonovia is, uh, have a relatively long uh, history agent, but uh, Sonovia is uh, suddenly disappeared through the long, but Sonazoid, Sonazoid is originally invented to detect hepatocellular carcinoma. So Sonazoid first go to the liver, especially liver Cooper cell, and then go to the lung and disappear. So Sonazoid remain in the body for a long time, relatively. Uh, in my experience, uh, we can, the uh, uh, hype effect, uh, enhancing effect is, we can enjoy about two hours. Uh, after two hours, uh, the effect is just suddenly disappear, but two hours is very enough time to treat uh, uterine fibroid or uterine adenomyosis. Uh, this graph is uh, body concentration rate during the time. Um, absolute safe time is uh, 30 minutes after injection. Um, and we treat uterine fibroid or uterine adenomyosis, in my experience, uh, about 10 or 15 minutes is relatively safe time. So when I treat uterine fibroid, I usually you know, treat uh, after 15 minutes. But when uh, I treat pancreatic cancer, uh, I always uh, obey 30 minutes because when treat pancreas, I always worry about small bowel injuries. So uh, obey 30 minutes. And when treat breast cancer, breast cancer is usually close to skin. And so I worry about skin burn. And that time I also go by the 30 minute. And sonication power uh, for uterine disease, sonication power is uh, usually used 100 watt to 250 watt. Um, this is very relatively low power. Uh, I have been studied uh, sonazoid to treat uh, uterine fibroid with uh, study with uh, Chongqing High Pre, uh, Chongqing University. And this study, we can significantly reduce the high sonication power, and also we can reduce the sonication time. And always we can see the massive grape scale change. Sometimes uh, we cannot see massive grape scale change, but and we use sonazoid, always we can see the massive grayscale change. So we can reduce sonication time and sonication power. But this means uh, we can treat with more safely. So, so we can simplify the protocol, uh, 
I always don't do bowel preparation, preparation or skin preparation. So we can treat with quickly and simply. And second is uh, rectal poly. When, when we put poly catheter in the rectum and inflation, the poly balloon, we can get many benefits. Uh, first, uh, when we treat uterine fibroid or adenomal fan, uh, sometimes uh, the region is uh, located in posterior wall, and sometimes uh, the uterine position is retrograde. Retrograde posterior wall region is uh, uh, hard to treat. Sometimes uh, the region is too far, so therapeutic distance cannot touch. In that case, we cannot treat. In this situation, we put the vector polyballon on the rectum and inflation polyballon, and we can change it, the retrograde to anterograde. So we can treat it easily. And we can squeeze myoma. We are familiar with uh, chemical contraction. When we treat uh, uterine fibroid adenomyosis, uh, usually we do treat with uh, oxytocin. But when we treat with the polyballon, we can squeeze mechanically. Mechanically squeezing with chemically squeezing make more uh, squeezing. And we put the balloon on the rectum and we can make some distance from secular area. Uh, this make more safe to nerve. And the holy balloon can lead the uterus to the anterior. If the we reduce the uterus, uh, we, if we put down the uterus, we can more easily push away the bowel. So we can protect bowel more effectively. Yeah. Uh, please see the ultrasound image. The left one is the posterior located uterus and we put the balloon inflation and we can make change the position retrograde to anterograde. And uh, you can see the bladder, we can inflation bladder. And we usually we put the abdominal balloon inflation and posteriorly with the polyvalve inflation, this is three balloon make squeezing. And so this squeezing leads to vascularity. And so we can more effectively treat. And usually, I use two or three balloons. And each balloon, I inflate about 50 cc. In my experience, uh, 60 cc is sometimes blow out. So 50 cc is uh, safe and effective. And if we put one balloon beyond the lecto sigma junction, it's much better. Yeah, please see the case. Uh, this case is a simple case. So I want to challenge extreme low power. This uterus is, uh, this case is a 36 years old woman and she got the menorrhagia, so treat with a high poo. And centimeter, uh, diameter is uh, 5.6 centimeter. This case is um, very good. For high, but a oh, little bit difficult is uh, this uterus, uterine fibroid the uterus is located somewhat posteriorly. Uh, in this situation, we inflate the bladder and abdominal wall balloon in, wall inflation. Wall inflation, wall inflation make the uterus wall posteriorly, posteriorly, and wall. Close to, close to the sacral. 
this makes sometimes it make it difficult. So please think about if we put the balloon on the rectum, uh, this balloon make the uterus bar anteriorly and strongly fix so this uterus never gonna push back to the posteriorly. Uh, this image is during hypotherapy. And uh, we can see the rectal, uh, posteriorly rectal polyballoon and bladder and anteriorly abdominal water balloon. This is three balloon strongly squeezing. And always I treat uterine fibroid, I always using sonazoid. This is sonazoid and rectal polyballoon. Uh, make uh, much effectively. So uh, I can treat with uh, extremely low power, 50, 50 watt. Uh, it's uh, very low power. And sonication time was uh, 462 seconds. Uh, if you, uh, we wanted to treat more short, yeah, sonication power increase about 100 watt. Yeah, it will be reduce the sonication time about half. This uh, image is uh, the next day uh, sonobi image. It can treat effectively all the tumor. So, in my opinion, is uh, if we treat with uh, sonazoid and rectal polyvalent inflation. We can treat well effectively, and also we can reduce significantly the power and energy. So this make more safe procedure. So my recommendation is using sonazoid with uh, using rectal polyvalent and treat with derived hybrid or other malicious. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, are there any questions? Dr. Sewa, I think. So please, Jody. Hello. Uh, uh, you, you, we used uh, the other contrast and hence is son of you. Uh, which is the difference between both contrasts? I don't know because son of you is, uh, is a microbubbles, the same as sonazoi. But we, where, what is the difference between one and the other? But it seems more effective with sonazois. The treatment with zonazois seems uh, to be uh, more effective than with with sonobu. and okay in this case you, you are treating with a very low power 50 bats for a fibroid is very low power and okay impressive can you explain uh, this uh yeah because in in spain it, it doesn't exist it doesn't exist <laughs> it doesn't exist the, the contrast this zonazoi i don't have I cannot yeah. use. <laughs> yeah, I have experience with Sonobu, Sonazoid. But Sonobu, the effect is very short. Yeah. And yeah, so it's But the not... difference is only the 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 long the longer time is the sorry? See the yeah. difference is only the time is act, act acting the, the, the sonazoid? Yes, when we uh, more time, yeah. Yeah, more well, I mean, my experience, yeah, Sonobu, sometimes it did many times injection during the yeah. therapy, but Sonazoid, one time. One time, yeah. During one time, lasting two hours, mm. is very effective. Is the only difference, yeah. okay. Are there any questions? You. <laughs> yeah, Kim. Yeah. I, we do simulation before we do the procedure. If you are going to do a Foley skeleton, you do it during the simulation or you just don't do it and do it straight away during the treatment. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you do a simulation with a Foley skeleton as well? You mean? Uh, say, uh, before performing HIFU, I usually test to see whether the patient is suitable for HIFU. Mm. I call it a simulation. That means a testing. And if you're going to do Foley skeleton, do you do that during the simulation as well or only during treatment? You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you mean the people high food simulation. Before high food simulation, yes, yeah. Patient to, yeah, write down bad yeah, yeah, simulation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 
when I, I, I was beginning time, I do that. Okay. But nowadays, I, I don't do that. Okay, yeah. you're, you're quite comfortable. Okay. I mean, how did, I mean, we all learn our haifu from Chongqing. They taught us how to do it. How did you come up with this idea of using Foley's catheter, sonozoid, and low dosage of uh, power? Is it your own creation? How did you come up with this idea? Uh, honestly, sonozoid, uh, I learned from Japanese doctor, Dr. Okuno. Okay. Yeah, sonozoid is uh, Japanese drug. Yeah, so learned from Dr. Okuno. And Dr. Poli, yeah, it's my idea, yeah. One other question is, when, when uh, I learn how do you do haifu with uh, the Chongqing doctors, they always tell me that if you do the ablation in the presence of Sonoview, you will get a very good grayscale because you have that bubbles there. And that is actually a false grayscale. It's not a true grayscale. You, you understand what I mean? And it's quite true. When the, when the, so, when the Sonoview wears off, that grayscale I don't get. Uh, so I'm wondering whether the, I mean, you have done so many, I'm wondering whether the Sonozoid's grayscale is a true grayscale or not. You, you understand what I'm trying to say? Is it reflected uh, on the MRI contrast after the treatment? It must be, because that's what you're doing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you, 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 you understand what I'm, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I'm saying, yeah, pulse grayscale change. Yeah, you worry about the, it's not real. It's not real, right. right. Yes. It's, it's, it's not, mm. Yeah, it could be, but in my experience, sonatoid grayscale change uh, always real. Real. Yeah, real. Yeah, I cannot say why Sonobu make a pulse, why Sonatoid make a real, I don't know why. But mm. in my experience, uh, more than 3,000 case, yeah, it's real. Okay. Another worry that uh, the Chongqing doctors tell me is that when you have bubbles in the skin, yeah, it may cause uh, ablation in the skin. That means you can have fat burn, you can have skin burn. Do you face that problem with sonozoin? Or it's because you're using low dose? Yeah, sometimes I worry about skin burn, especially breast. Yeah, so when I treat breast, I always, always 30 minutes after ingestion 30 minutes is safe. But in uterus, uh, about 10 minutes is good, safe. Why is that? Is it because you want the bubbles to disperse before you... you why, why do you need the 30 minutes? And why do you need the 15 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, this graph, okay. uh, people 30 minutes, the concentration rate is high. So in this time, uh, people 30 minutes, uh, yes, lesser. skin have many air bubbles, but after 30 minutes, uh, skin or the other side, the air bubble rate is very low, but it hyperfilled that small, Concentration error is enough. So how, how do you explain your short time of ablation with sonozoid? We, we usually take 60 minutes, maybe 80 minutes or one hour to do a, a fibroid, but your timing is much shorter, you said, with your sonozoid. Why is that so? Because uh, you get a faster grayscale change? Is that is that the reason? I, 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 no, the, I the reason is... When you use, uh, when you don't use sonozoid, yeah, the power is higher, yeah, and the uh, duration, the time you take to treat is also longer. Yeah, why is it shorter and faster in with sonozoid? Because of cavitation, cavitation, cavitation effect. Um, and do you have the same results in 
um, in in every in in fibroids with high vascularization compared to fibroids with medium or low vascularization, is the, the, the response is different with sonazoid in one type of fibroid and in other types of fibroid? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Vascular fibroid. Do you do you get do you get the same kind of effect with vascular fibroid compared to non-vascular fibroid? You know, sometimes we don't do vascular fibroid. Ah, uh, vascular. 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 High vascular. High vascular. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sometimes we meet very high vascular. Yeah. In the, in that case, is very hard to treat with hypo. In that case, usually I treat with pretty hypo embolization. The, the embolization is a uh, total embolization with a partial embolization. Uh, we think about the liver cancer, hepatocellular cancer. When we treat with hepatocellular cancer, uh, when the uh, cancer located in left lobe, left lobe tumor is very easy to ovulation, but located right lobe or hypervascular. And that time, always protocol is pre hypo, TAC, and hypo. Yeah, you tell this uh, almost case is easy to ovulate with a uh, uh, hypersonication, but sometimes very uh, hard to ovulation. And the case is very hypervascular case. In that case, uh, pretty high uh, embolization, very effective. And next time, uh, uh, I will show the PPT with the pre IP Yeah. One more question. Yeah. When you start ablating, say a fibroid, yeah. what how do you increase your power? Do you start with 50 and then move on to 75 and 100, or you start with 100, or you depend on your grade scale change? Uh yeah, yeah. Could uh with the Sonazoid, always we can see the grade scale change. Yeah. First, we start with 50 and 50, one, two, three. Usually, and we one to three times change grade scale change. Okay, we can go with 50, but oh, one to three, no change. We can increase 100. One to three change, okay, go with 100. One day I must come to your center and watch you. <laughs> yes, thank you, Rekha. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank so you. So there's uh, no more question. Thank you. Uh...